Hello. John Abraham's announcement that he has purchased the remake rights of the Malayalam film Ayyappanam Koshiyam makes very interesting reading. It's an amazing film and uh, while I'm very happy that its production rights are bought for a remake at Bollywood, I would love to see a cast sans John Abraham in the lead roles because they tend to act in films that they have purchased and produced. John's career graph does show that. Come to that part of the story at a later point in time because primarily the present presentation is more about this wonderful film, Ayyappanam Koshim. It's directed by, written and directed by Sachi, an amazing Malayalam filmmaker. Before I really get to talking about the movie, as somebody who's fed on a diet of cinema from Tollywood or Telugu cinema, it gives me a terrible complex to believe that Malayalam cinema is streets ahead. It looks like they're almost on a different planet of cinema making in compare to what happens in Telugu cinema. They don't make this thai beating, coming out of the car, dust throwing, faction fighting. Uh, it's not the staple diet on which Malayalam cinema seems to be surviving. Mind you, this is not one of those serious avant-garde films. It is not even midstream film. It is pure, simple entertainment, gripping, entertaining, engrossing and captivating. Sachi tells us the story of an incident that starts off at this place called Attapadi, which is in the bordering districts of Palghat between Kerala and Tamil Nadu. It's a area where there is prohibition. The film starts off with the driver of a car played amazingly by Ramesh Kottayam as the driver. His car is stopped by the police who are checking and just about the time when they are about to close shop and have permission to call it shutters, the car arrives. And they find by accident that in the car sitting behind is this young man, Koshi Kurian. Koshi Kurian is an ex Havaldar from the armed forces. He sozzled the liquor bottles in his car and the police decide to play tough. They pull him to the police station. This young man has big connections and therefore doesn't like the manner in which he's treated. He suffers the VIP syndrome. His cell phone is taken away by the police and he's made to spend the night in the police station. Even as he is in the police station, the police constabulary in the station find out from his cell phone that he's very well connected. So he, the inspector who arrests him, again played in the lead character of Ayyappan Nair, is Biju Melon. Amazing performance. Ayyappan calls up his superior, C.I. Anil, C.I. Satish, played by Anil Nedumangadan. What happens is, once they know he's a VIP, he is instructed by the higher ups that he must go soft on the victim. Since this man is alcoholic, the alcohol bottles are seized and sealed. He then says that he badly needs alcohol because he's suffering from certain withdrawal syndrome. Uh, signs and therefore he must be given a little bit of alcohol. In the meanwhile, there is a kind of a little bit of chemistry brewing between the inspector Ayappan and Koshi. So he opens the bottle, gives him the liquor, talks about his personal life. 
not knowing that Koshi has other plans. Koshi on his camera in the cell phone shoots the supply and service of alcohol at a police station by the prohibition police to the victim. As he goes to judicial, he's sent to jail for a period of 10 days. When he comes out, the entire media is agog with videotapes of Ayyappan in hot water. The battle between Ayyappan, who suspended, and Koshi, who spent a few days in jail, begins. Tom and Jerry. Constantly, how each of them meet up the other's challenge is a good part of the two, and, two hours and 45 minute narrative. When I sat to watching this movie, I said, oh my God, am I going to sit and watch a film for two hours and 45 minutes? Believe me, engrossed I was. And except a scene or two, it's very difficult to edit anything out of the narrative. It's crisp. It's engrossing. The story of two men from their respective perspectives is told with such fluidity that you would really begin to empathize with each of them in their own spheres of activity. There's no bad man here. There's no good man here. Both of them carry their shades of grey. Both of them have their compulsions for what they are doing. Hindi cinema I can remember two instances immediately of the angst of an inspector thrown out of service. We have the angry young Amitabh Bachchan in Zanjeer. We have the angrier product of a Govind Nilani film, Ardha Satya Om Puri. Both of them were such wonderful examples of angst by police officers. Completely different is the story of this gentleman, Ayyappan Nair by Biju Menon. His interpretation is least uh, covered by either of those master characters that we've had in mainstream cinema in our country. So what is very in endearing is the fact that these two actors fit into the roles so perfectly and carry on the battle. What happens in the battle is not something that I'm going to leak for you. But I'll give you one piece of advice. Do not wait. Do not wait for John Abraham to make this movie and watch it in the theatres. Ayyappanum Kuchiyum is available on OTT platforms. Get to watching the film at its earliest. This is a cinematic experience to watch this amazing film. Look at the awesome cinematography by Sudeep Elamon. He pictures God's own country in a manner as if he owns God's own country. The editing by Ranjan Abraham is perfect. I say, I repeat, except for a scene or two, I would have had the entire film difficult to take a scene off on the ground of relevance or on the ground that it jars. Perfectly made. There are other characters in the movie like Prithvi's father, Korean John, played by Ranjit. Everyone in the film, little roles like the wife of Koshi, the wife of Ayyappan, perfect performances. I should not hold you back. I would believe that the quicker you go, the wiser you are in the experience of some amazing mainstream film from Kerala. Advantage, it has subtitles on the platform. Rush. It's not very often we in India who are bred on a diet of mainstream cinema get this kind of opportunity to watch an engrossing thriller of a movie. I would love to see somebody like Anubhav Sinha be the director of its Hindi version. 
and above of course is on a song he's got an amazing purple patch article 15 tuppered mulk what kind of films he's made i think if he gets on to making this thriller it'll be great to have him on board as i was watching this movie i kept believing that ajay devgan or akshay kumar in the role of the inspector ayappan played by biju menon and somebody like rajkumar rao or prithvi himself playing the role of koshi kuriyam would be ideal but then now the call is with john abraham i really hope the man makes a great film hoping to see it in hindi but pushing you all my readers and followers go grab your earliest opportunity and watch as i unhesitatingly not just recommend but push ajappanum koshi thank you